Today we're looking at another great product by 2B number one, and this is another docking station. Uh, this one will allow you to use up to four screens under Windows computers and three screens on Mac. So let's go ahead and see what we get inside the box here. Uh, we've got uh, USB-C to USB-C. A power adapter and the dock itself so we'll first take a quick look at the dock uh, on the front we have a power button we also have a USB-C 3.0 a 18 watt power distribution headphone jack we've got two 10 gigabyte per second USB A's uh, a USB 2.0 uh, SD card slot, a TF and micro SD slot. Flipping around to the back, we have a LAN in, your host cable in, uh, another USB 2.0, and then we have HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4, and also a DP1 and a DP2 for your monitors. So, Biggest disclaimer I'll put off right off the bat is for these docks to work, they do screen recording. Um, so it's not saved anywhere, but basically for the other monitors to pick up the signal, it records one screen to be able to replicate on additional screens. So it has been put out there and it is said by the company themselves that sometimes the screen recording softwares, uh, which is Display Link, will make it so that things like Netflix, Hulu, uh, those kind of things, streaming services may not work while you're screen recording. I personally have not run into that issue, but want to make sure that everybody is tracking that, uh, that it could possibly be an issue with your system. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to quickly just show you how to hook it up. I'm only going to hook up two monitors to it. Um, I had tested it previously and at least all three ports are working, uh, but I currently don't have three monitors to hook up. Uh, I definitely don't have a four monitor set up uh, because number one, that's on Windows computers and I run Mac. So Mac is going to max out at three external displays and Windows, I just don't run a Windows computer. So I can't test the four screens for you, but let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. Okay. So I already have display link downloaded on my computer. So we're just going to go ahead and connect this to our laptop. So our power cord will just go in place. And then we will take our USB-C to USB-C. We'll plug that in. So one end is going to go into the host. And then our other end will just go into the computer itself. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and plug in our monitors on HDMI 1 and 2 here and here. And then we'll see that should pop it up on the screen. Okay, so we can see we have our two HDMI plugged in. We're plugged into the computer itself. And currently we have nothing on the screen. So I'm just going to hit our power button. And that should do the trick. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, there we go. So let me just open up something here. So currently, because I have the laptop open, we're looking at three separate screens right now. So let me just open up a app here. And now we can see that all the monitors are connected as one. Okay, so I'll be running these tests on my laptop uh, so we can look at the speed test. And this is a 14 inch 2021 Apple M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of memory. Just to give you an idea of what's, what I'm using to run the tests on. Uh, and then we'll use a Samsung portable SSD T5 
in order to uh, check the speeds through them all. All right, so I'm going to use Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test. I'm just going to make sure we've got the right target drive here. All right, there's currently nothing on this hard drive. I formatted it prior to doing these runs, so we could have as much clean space as possible. So we'll hit start. All right, we see we got an average of 451.6 megabytes a second for write speed, and our read speed is 375.9. So again, that's plugged directly into the MacBook, uh, and now we'll test out on the dock and see what kind of speeds we get. Okay, so now we have the black box plugged into the USB-C on the front of the docking station. Let's go ahead and run this test again. So last time we had 450.5 and 375.9. And our read sitting at 374.9 using the dock. All right, so next I'm going to plug into one of the 10 gigabyte per second USB-A slots. Obviously, I can't test the USB-A on the... Mac itself because it's all USB-C. Okay, with that, it looks like we got a 41.9 write speed and a 37.6 read speed. All right, so we'll go ahead and try the USB 2.0. Interesting that the write speed seems to be faster on the 2.0 than the 10 gigabytes per second one. Okay, we've got a 42.4 megabytes per second write speed. Okay, and it looks like we topped out at 37.8 megabytes per second for the read speed. Thank God those ones are over. So next we'll test out the SD card slots. All right, for the SD card, this is a 256 gigabyte Amplin. It's rated at 300 megabytes per second. So just like last time, we'll try it in the uh, computer first. To see what kind of speeds that we get. Okay, and I'm showing 115.6 megabytes per second for the write speed and about 226.6 for the read speed. All right, let's pop it in the dock. All right, we dropped down to 88.2 megabytes per second for the write speed, and it looks like we got about 80.8 for the read speed, so pretty significant drop in the dock for SD cards. And last but not least, we'll check out micro SD cards uh, with the MacBook. Obviously, I'm going to have to put that in an adapter, uh, but when it goes in the dock, it'll be pure just the SD card and no adapter. So sorry guys, I tried multiple times with the micro SD card and apparently the one that I have uh, must be corrupt or something because it's not it's not being able to finish the test in the MacBook. So I know it has nothing to do with the dock. But let's go ahead and talk overall thoughts. Uh, overall thoughts, uh, I've, I've had these in the past. Super good build quality. Um, I'm on like year three with my previous dock uh, that I have from 2B number one. Um, so I know that the product lasts long. Uh, the other thing is uh, they come with a one-year warranty on all of their stuff. Uh, and most importantly, their customer service is outstanding over there. Uh, they reply super quick. Uh, really, the only disadvantage that I have uh, for me personally is uh, they to get that fourth HDMI slot on there, they had to take away a lot of additional ports. So you're getting one, two, three four USB-A and one USB-C slot um, because they need the real estate for those HDMI ports. Um, so if you're just really looking to say, uh, get yourself set up with three or four monitors, 100% way to go. Uh, but if you're just using a couple monitors and want more ports in your dock, I uh, definitely recommend uh, the previous ones that I've reviewed. Uh, just so everybody knows, uh, I, I should have let off with this. Uh, this review is sponsored by 2B Number One. Uh, they provided the product for free for testing. Uh, I'm not receiving any other compensation in any way for it. Uh, but just so you know, it was provided for the review. So 2B Number One is the first thing that I ever reviewed on this channel. It's kind of what made me start this channel. Uh, but even prior to them sending me the one to test the first time, I had already had their product previously. So um, I can definitely stand by the product even outside of a sponsorship lens. So yeah, only drawback for me since I'm not using four screens or even three screens is just the loss in ports. But if monitors are more important than ports for you, 
100% good to go. Other than that, if you found this review useful, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. And as usual, if there's anything that you want to see reviewed on this channel, go ahead and put that down below along with what you want tested with it so I can make sure I get that in the review. I'll reach out to the company, try to get my hands on it and review it for you. Other than that, thanks for sticking around. See you next time. Bye.